Minutes podcast. Today's video is where I will uh, have a recap of June in terms of how I am doing using Stash and how I am doing uh, with my Make Nine boards for 2024. So just a little bit of background. Uh, this year I decided to really focus on using my yarn stash to have a low buy yarn year. Uh, I just had started feeling really overwhelmed probably in 2023, fall of 2023, that, you know, I was acquiring yarn quicker than I can uh, use it and make stuff, which is probably common for most of us. Um, but it was just, it was kind of weighing on me. So I decided in 2024 that I was going to really be serious uh, about using stash yarn and trying not to buy um or only buy occasionally. So uh, with, with the stash yarn, I made plans uh, to how I was going to use some of it. And I created three Make Nine boards. Uh, the Make Nine 2024 Mal or Make Along is hosted by Amy of Noble Character Crafts. And it is a make along where you uh, create a grid uh, for Instagram with nine projects you'd like to work on in 2024. And you can start this at any time. Uh, I I decided to do three boards. So uh, whips or works in progress are included. So I have a board of works in progress that came with me into 2024. I have a new projects board, so nine new projects that I want to work on this year. And then I have a sock board for my Make Nine, uh, so strictly sock patterns, which are, are new too. Um, but I just wanted a grid uh, specifically dedicated to socks because I really enjoy knitting socks. So three boards, made a plan with those projects, how I was going to use my stash. And this is my monthly recap on that. So, uh, the only one additional thing I will say is that also at the beginning of the year, I identified that I had way too much cotton yarn, <laughs> dishcloth yarn, uh, which I, I enjoy making dishcloths very much, but I have a lot of it and I have, I have a lot of leftover scraps. And so I wanted to be kind of intentional about trying to use that. Uh, yarn this year, at least those scraps. And so the Back Porch Fiber Company is hosting a dishcloth make along for this year. Did I say Back Porch Fiber Company? Yes, is having a dishcloth make along this year. And I thought, what a great way to get on board and make some dishcloths. So uh, because it is six months, we've completed six months in the year, I'm not only going to give you June stats, but I'm also going to do my six month, uh, how am I doing? So I, I thought that would be fun to see where I'm at with halfway through the year. So uh, I'm so happy that you're here. I should have said that at the top of this uh, video, but I'm so happy you're here. Um, thank you so much for joining me today and we will go ahead and get started. So for my finished projects in June, I completed three pairs of socks uh, and I'm going to insert pictures here. So the Blossom socks and I should be telling you who these are by Deb Buckingham. So the Blossom socks is a fingering weight pair of socks and then the Anya DK shorties and then um, I'm calling them my Friday night knitting club socks, but the pattern I used is matter about you DK shorties and both the Anya DK shorties and the matter about you DK shorties are free patterns on Ravelry by Andrea Yetman. So three pairs of socks. And of course, you know, it's summer sock camp right now hosted by Kay of the crazy sock lady. So I'm joining in on on summer sock camp. So I've really enjoyed making, you know, some shorter, shorter socks. So that's been fun. Uh, in addition to the socks, I completed the Birch and Moss Scarf by Tiff Nealon. 
And uh, this yarn was gifted to me by my husband uh, for Mother's Day this year. Uh, we were in Holland, Michigan, and I went to Garen Heiss, or Yarn House, and picked out three skeins of yarn to complete this project. And I think it's really lovely how it turned out. Uh, one hat was completed, and this is a crocheted item. Uh, this is the Riley hat. Ooh, I gosh, I don't know, I don't remember who it's by, but it will be in the show notes. But this hat went along, and yarn went along with the book Hooked on You by Kathleen Fuller. And I did a video about yarn fiction, and I had a couple skeins of yarn that were paired with books. So the Riley hat went along with Hooked on You. Uh, so in addition to those projects, I also made crocheted two dishcloths and, uh, these were crocheted on June 30th. So I cranked out a couple dishcloths on June 30th and I used the, the pattern, um, I think it's the garden dishcloth or the garden washcloth by Emily Clausen. Uh, so that was my dishcloth making for the month of June. So as far as skeins in and skeins out, let's see, I'm just reaching over here for my notebook. And before I, I share my skeins in and out, I have been keeping a little knitting journal this year. And this was just a binder I got on Amazon. And then I got printable journal pages on Etsy. And it, it came with many different types of pages that you could use. I have been uh, doing a, I do the monthly grid. I use a yarn in, yarn out. You can see January there. And then I use one page um, knitting journal just to keep track of notes. So I'll, I'll just share my notes for the month of June. So I always start with what whips or works in progress am I carrying over from the previous month. So, uh, sorry, the two projects that I brought over from May were the Fiddly Bits Cowl, which is right here. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then the Blossom Socks. So I brought those two over. Those were active whips that I brought over and I did finish those. I should say in regards to the Fiddly Bits Cowl, this is the only project that is on my Make 9 board or a Make 9 board um, and I did not complete it. Uh, I June got to be a very busy month around here, but I am hoping to have a double looped cowl that hangs down. Uh, and so I did try it on this morning and it's still, it's still kind of uh, up there. So I, I definitely want to add some more length. I keep, I keep trying it on, uh, but I'm absolutely enjoying this project so very much. You can see all of the gorgeous colors. It is such a fun, fun way to use minis. So um, my goal was to finish that in June. That did not happen. So uh, for July's notes, you know, that project is coming over uh, as a whip and my goal will be now to finish it in July. So we will see <laughs> how that goes. All right. So for yarn in and yarn out for the month of June, uh, I'll start with the yarn in, and there is only one skein that came in. It was this beautiful skein of yarn from Danny of Lumberjack Yarn. Uh, she dies in Michigan, and she so sweetly gifted this to me, and she named this yarn uh, 100th episode because I will have my 100th episode of the Carla Knits podcast coming up shortly. Uh, probably within the next week or so, hopefully. Uh, so she gifted this episode, or this skein, this beautiful skein of yarn to me. I absolutely love it. And uh, if you want a chance to maybe win this, stay tuned for that 100th episode. 
So that was the one skein that came in. For skeins out of my stash, let's see. The first three there are for the birch and moss. So you see the really colorful one. That was the, the um, obviously the variegated yarn. And then there was a natural color and then a mohair. And so, you know, that's really hard to kind of color. I use, I use like a light gray, a white, and a yellow just to kind of give it some color there. Uh, then we have the Anya DK socks, which you see that green toe. Uh, let's see, the Matter About You socks, or I should say the Friday Night Knitting Club socks. Then the Blossom Shorty socks is that speckle. And then finally down here is the Riley Crochet hat. And so for the month of June, I got out seven skeins, which is absolutely great. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna tuck this back into, into my planner here or my journal here. So seven skeins out, one skein in for the month of June. So let me just share a little bit about uh, what I am doing for the month of July. So I wrote in here, I have my uh, whips coming over from June. I have a pair of Rose City rollers, which I'm very, very close to finishing. Um, I'm on the toe decreases on the second one. Really excited about that. The Fiddly Bits cowl um, just seems to need some more length, so I definitely want to finish that. And then I wrote a flower dishcloth, uh, another one of, of those dishcloths, uh, because I had already started it. Uh, then, so those go under some goals. And then I also want to start on a couple of projects for the Merry Make-Along. Uh, so it's kind of a Christmas in July make-along uh, for July and August. It's being hosted in the Ravelry group over there. Uh, so if you're interested in that, getting a head start on some gift making or uh, holiday projects for yourself, you know, head on over there. But I have two items that I would like to work on. Uh, and both of them are on my Make 9 board, my new board. So one is the Galway stocking, Christmas stocking, and then the Karen double layer mittens. And I will say as I am recording today, July 3rd, I have not started either of those. Um, I uh, since the Rose City Rollers are going to be finished, I would like to cast on another pair of socks and I'm debating about whether to put another pair of shorties on the needles for summer sock camp or uh, socks for an upcoming birthday uh, for someone. So just, just kind of debating about that. <laughs> so that is what is going on for uh, or will be going on for the month of July. So I told you that I would like to share the six month stats, statistics, uh, for how many skeins of yarn came in, how many yarns have I used, how many dishcloths have I made. So we will start with dishcloths. So month of January 7, February 3, March 3, April and May, one dishcloth each, and then two in June for a total of 17. So it's great to have 17 dishcloths made, um, but I'm not seeing a big enough dent <laughs> in my cotton drawer. Um, so yesterday I pulled a couple bags, not big bags, but a couple bags of my cotton yarns, um, just scraps, and I think I'm just gonna keep those upstairs by me, you know, on the couch for when I feel like I just wanna do a little crochet project. And I think I'm going back to uh, that corner to corner dishcloth. That really seems to be my favorite one uh, to make. So um, I think I will be doing that and doing scrappy ones with that. So you'll probably see some of those in upcoming episodes. So 17 dishcloths this year, four yarn, in my stash this year, uh, five skeins came in. Let's see, one, I should say, 
one was this beautiful skein of yarn that I that I won from Amy of Noble Character Crafts as participation in the Make 9 2024 Mal. Uh, so I haven't decided what I want to use this for yet, but it is just a beautiful skein of yarn. So I will enjoy uh, just looking at this beautiful skein of yarn right now. Uh, then three went into that Birch and Moss scarf. And then one is the beautiful skein of yarn, 100th episode by Lumberjack Yarn. So five skeins in. Four yarn out. Uh, January, 10 skeins. February, 8. March, 9. May. Oh, did I get that right? No. Okay. So 10 January, 8 in February, 9 in March. 7 in April, 5 in May, and 7 in June for a total of 46 skeins out. So that feels really, really good. Um, when I look at my yarn over here, uh, you know, my friend Joanne, who is an in-person knitting friend, and she was also the owner of a yarn store. So she knows about yarn stashes and she has her own yarn stash at home you know she asked am I noticing a difference on my shelves and honestly I'm not really <laughs> which says to me I still have too much yarn um, so I am going to keep continuing this process um, you know absolutely through 2024 uh, and I'm probably going to keep continuing it uh, through you know as I just work work through a lot of this beautiful yarn um, there's still the possibility I may buy yarn this year. Uh, it just hasn't called to me yet, and that's that is totally okay. I have enjoyed, you know, using yarns designated for purpose, you know, for certain projects. I have enjoyed, you know, the Make Nine boards immensely, um, and that has just been a great way to help me focus. So that is my June recap for using stash and for make nine boards. Um, so no make nine finishes in June, but good good usage of yarn stash. So really happy about that. I would love to hear how you are doing. Uh, are, you, are you doing well if you are intending to use your yarn stash? Um, I know some people count grams out. I just like to, I like the little drawing of the the yarn balls. I just think I, I just think coloring in those yarn balls is so much fun. Um, so are you are you using stash? Are you counting grams? Are you counting skeins out? Um, what projects are bringing you joy right now? I would love to hear that. Are you working on make nine projects? Uh, so please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, any of those things or any comments that uh, you would like to share, I would enjoy hearing. I always enjoy hearing from you. So if you liked this video, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. I thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I will look forward uh, to visiting with you again in the 100th episode of the Carla Knits podcast. Take care. Bye-bye.